Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about incretins in type 1 diabetes. Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about the incretins in type 1 diabetes. Incretins are an important class of medications currently approved by the FDA only for people with type 2 diabetes. But us folks with type 1, we like to try stuff that may help us, although it's not officially approved. I want to make that clear. Please do not go out and take these medications without speaking to your doctor. Now, there's three formulations of the incretins. First, there was Baeta. You had to inject it twice a day within an hour of the two main meals. Then Amelin and now Bristol-Myers Squibb slash AstraZeneca have come up with the first once weekly formulation called Bidurion. You have to mix it up, you take the shot once a week. Novo Nordisk also has a once daily preparation called Victoza. You take it any time of the day. Now, both these medications are called incretins. The other fancy medical phrase, ready for this? GLP-1 receptor agonist. Now, what do they do? First of all, I want to say they're a very important class of medications for type 2 diabetes. There have been tons of studies. They're approved for folks with type 2. One, very importantly, they reduce the appetite. People eat less and you lose weight. Two, they stimulate the pancreas to secrete more insulin and secrete less glucagon when you eat a meal. Folks with type 2 diabetes, they do still make insulin, so they try to squeeze out a little bit extra. And glucagon is supposed to go down after eating in normal individuals, yet it paradoxically goes up in folks with type 1 and type 2 after eating. So this helps prevent that inappropriate rise of glucagon. And if you prevent the rising glucagon, you will suppress hepatic glucose production, keep your blood sugars down. Lastly, it helps control the peristaltic motion of the stomach. It slows it down and so that you dump nutrients much slower into your system and your post-meal blood sugar will not go up as high. It's a great medication. Weight loss, no hypoglycemia, reduce blood sugars and your A1C. Now, there have been a couple of studies using it in folks with type 1. What does it do for someone with type 1 diabetes? Their pancreas doesn't secrete any insulin, and this won't help it either. But it'll help suppress the appetite. It'll control gastric motility. It'll suppress the inappropriate release of glucagon that occurs after eating. So there was a small study. They put folks with type 1 diabetes on this type of medication. There have been both studies with Baeta as well as Victoza. They give them a continuous glucose monitoring device like a Dexcom, for example, and they follow them over a short period of time. Guess what happens? Their A1C comes down, they lose weight, they, they use less insulin, and the continuous glucose monitoring downloads showed that patients went from this to this. And so once again, many medications that are coming out now are being used for folks with type 1. Once again, they're not officially approved for people with type 1 diabetes. They do have their side effects, but overall, they do show promise and current studies are ongoing. So long, nation.